Is anybody still there? I don't know why this is happening so much lately. Okay, I'll just finish up. Um, hopefully you guys don't give up and you, you tune back in. Or maybe I'll get some late arrivals. I'm gonna kind of start from the beginning, um, just in case so that at least we can get this um, in our library. So today we're talking about the cicada, the Okanaga Van Doozy. Now there are many, many species in San Diego, but this is a pretty common species and it's named after a local etymologist, a person who studies insects. His name is Van Doozy. Hi, Eka. We, uh, I don't know if you were tuned in before, but we lost our reception. So uh, I'm inclined to talk kind of fast today and hope we don't lose it again. Here is the picture of a Okanaga Van Doozy cicada. So they're about an inch and a half, not too big, blackish brown, clear wings. I'll show you another picture in a minute. Um, so these aren't the famous periodical kind that come out in mass every 13 or 17 years. Here, broods overlap, so adults are present every year, and they also don't arrive in enough mass to cause crop damage or anything like that. The ones that come out every 13 or 17 years are in the southeast and the northeast. So again, here the broods overlap and we have adults present every year. The wet spring, quick hot summer is an ideal condition to get a lot of them. Um, they come out on warm, humid nights in July. Now, they are more often heard than seen. You might be walking on our trails and all of a sudden they go off and you think you're surrounded by rattlesnakes. Thankfully, you're not. Or you might think you hear construction and you know, where, where is that distant buzzsaw? Nope. It's an insect. And their songs can be 90 decibels loud during mating season. And the sound produced is in their abdomen. Um, you can probably guess why the males are singing. Um, it's to call out to potential mates. And the females respond with clicks. So the males do the singing and the females do some clicking. Um, sadly, once mated, the males go off and die. So this is a kind of a long, longer story about the females. Hi, Shirley. So what the females do is produce these eggs. And where these eggs are is inside of a twig. So you can see how they could do crop damage if there were a whole bunch of them, but not here. Hi, Jose. So those are the eggs. And then the next step is this. This is a nymph. And see how the nymph is all covered in dirt? That's because the eggs are in the twigs about twigs about the diameter of a pencil and they burrow in there lay the eggs and then once they hatch into the nymphs the nymphs fall to the ground and burrow into the soil and what they like to eat is roots right so they feed and grow and eventually they emerge from the ground and they usually call, crawl up onto the tree or the bush to molt Anyway, that's why he's covered with dirt, because he's been burrowed in the earth. Okay, so next they crawl up on the bush or the tree and they molt. So I'm gonna show you a picture of them molting, which is the stuff of sci-fi. Look at it, right? See how it comes out really white as it sheds its skin? It's called molting, and that white color, within an hour, they turn dark, okay?
okay? So that white doesn't last long. Um, let me show you. In an hour, they look just like an adult, right? So here's the cicada. And here is another one. Hi, Leon. Hi, Shirley and Phil. Yes, we, we do usually chat about birds, but we've got to mix it up. I don't want everybody out on the trail being afraid that it, this place is full of rattlesnakes. It's full of cicadas. Um, I have something that I'll want to show you. Um, but Well, first I'm going to just tell you another odd thing that I learned about them. Um, some people eat cicadas, okay? And it's not quite as odd as it sounds because they're related to shellfish like shrimp, right? And we eat shrimp. And I hear that they are best if you boil them and then fry them. And um, they are supposed to add a delightful nutty crunch. Maybe people put them in salads, I don't know. But of course, this is a nature preserve, so don't come collecting cicadas for your salads. Um, cicadas do have one of the longest lifespans. They can, some of them do live up to 17 years. Um, and you don't want to use pesticides in your yards if you do have them because um, they're not really a threat to your plants here and you don't want to kill the pollinators. Um, you might be able to see one. I know in places like Texas, you can see them all over the place and in the trees and flying. Um, here, your best bet is to find those casts. I'll show you the picture one more time. You could find, uh, sometimes you'll just see them on bushes. These little, um, they're little cast off, they're little shells. I've seen those on bushes. Of course, at the time, I didn't collect one because I didn't know I was going to be talking about them. But I do have a cicada. Um, it is not a, it is not an Okanaga Van Duzi cicada or any of the other California cicadas. This one I found in Texas and I thought it was so cool I kept. And because I like to sometimes show you live things, I'll show you one. I don't know if you can see this any better than a picture, but you can see their eyes and their bodies and their, I mean, they're just cool. Here's their little legs. So that's it. That's it for my show and tell today. Not a California cicada, but still cool. Um, does anybody have any questions? I bet Jose has some where he lives. All right, so when you guys are out on the trail, listen for cicadas, and maybe, just maybe, you'll find their discarded little bodies. All right, See, pretty soon, um, I think our next topic is going to be road runners. So you'll want to stay tuned for that. We're going to begin to talk about some of the birds down at the Borderfield State Park um, because we're about to have the Tijuana River Action Month tram where we go down um, into the Tijuana River Valley and do a series of cleanups and you will see all of them on our website soon. Okay, and we're going to be talking about species that live down there. Jose says he has some but not that big. They're not that big here either. You know what they say in Texas, everything's bigger. All right, see you guys.